Hi, welcome to the Center Maths Basics series on number theory. In this video, we're going to be going over the order of integers and primitive prime roots. For the definition of the order of integers, if we let a and m be integers such that the greatest common divisor of a and m is equal to 1, then the least positive exponent e, such that a to the e is congruent to 1 mod m, is the order and it's don't, this is how you write it. This reads the order of A modulo M. For some examples, uh, if we have to find the order of 3 modulo 7, we can start off by 3 to the first is 3, and that's congruent to 3 mod 7. And we move on to the next exponent, 2. 3 squared, that's 9. And that's congruent to 2 modulo 7. And then we have to keep going until we're um, congruent to 1. So then we'll go on to 3 to the 3rd. That's 27. And 28 is a multiple of 7, so that's congruent to negative 1. And now it's clear that if we square both sides, we'll have 1 on this side. So 3 to the 6 is congruent to 1. And that's our least positive exponent. So the order of 3 modulo 7 is equal to 6. Another theorem is let a be a positive integer such that the greatest common divisor of a and m is equal 1. Then the order of a modulo m is equal to e. Then a to the n is congruent to 1 modulo m. If only if e divides n. And from this theorem, we can derive this one, which is Euler's theorem. And Euler's theorem tells us that a to the phi of m is congruent to 1 mod m. Um, and by this theorem, we can conclude that the order of A modulo M must divide the phi of M, which means the phi of M must be a multiple of the order. And we'll do an example. So if we were asked to compute the order of 5 modulo 21, we can find the phi of 21. And if you're not sure how to do that, you can check out our other video on Euler's theorem and the phi function. So the phi of 21 you can find it by the phi of 3 times the phi of 7, which is 2 times 6, which is 12. So the only possible values for the order of 5 modulo 21 must be divisors of 12. And the divisors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And this is what we're solving for, is 5 to the x is congruent to 1 mod 21, where x is the smallest integer that it works. And we know that these are the possible values, so now we'll just test them out. So 5 squared, that's 25, and that leaves a remainder of 4 when it's divided by 21. So 2 is not it, and then we'll try 3. 5 to the third is 125, and 126 is a multiple of 21. So this is congruent to negative 1. And now we can see if we just square both sides, well, 5 to the 6 is congruent to 1. And 6 is our answer. So this, this theorem helps us just narrow down the results because we know that the possible values of the orders are just going to be the divisors of the phi function.
So if p is prime, the phi of p is equal to p minus 1. And this just tells us that the order of a modulo p must divide p minus 1. An example, if we're asked to compute the order of 8 modulo 13, we know that the order of 8 modulo 13 must divide 12, which is p minus 1. So the possible values of this order is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. And again, this helps us narrow down the results. So we'll test out these. Um, 8 squared is 64. And 65 is a multiple of 13. So this is congruent to negative 1. 1, 13. And we can just see if we square it, we have 8 to the 4th congruent to 1. And 4 is our answer. And now that we're familiar with the order of numbers, we can talk about primitive prime roots. So if we let a be a positive integer such that the greatest common divisor of a and m is equal to 1, and the, if, a, if the order of a modulo m is equal to the phi of m, then a is called a primitive root modulo m. So basically, a to the phi minus m is congruent to 1 modulo m, then a is a primitive root modulo m, as long as uh, the phi of m is the low, smallest integer such that it's congruent to 1. So a to the k cannot be congruent to 1 for any integer that's between 1 and phi of m minus 1. And if p is a prime and the order of a modulo of p is equal to the p minus 1, then a is a primitive root modulo of p. For problems, you might be asked to confirm that a number is a primitive root, or you might be asked to find how many primitive roots a number has. We'll go through some examples. So a prime has the phi of p minus 1 primitive roots. For example, if you're asked how many roots does 13 have, you just find the phi of 12, and that's equal to 4. So 13 has 4 primitive roots. Another common problem is you might be asked to show that an integer is a primitive root. So for this example, we're going to show that 2 is a primitive root of modulo 11. This is really just asking us to show that the order of 2 modulo 11 is equal to 10 because the phi of 11 is equal to 10. So we're going to show that 2 to the 10th is congruent to 1 modulo 11. Divisors of 10 is 1, 2, 5, and 10. These are all the possible values of the order to modulo 11. So we'll just test them out and make sure that 1, 2, and 5 don't work, so that 10 is our smallest exponent that works. So 2 is congruent to 2 modulo 11. 2 to the second is 4. And then we have 2 to the fifth is 32. And 33 is a multiple of 11. So we have 2 to the fifth is congruent to negative 1. And therefore, 2 to the tenth is congruent to 1. And so we just proved that 2 is a primitive root of modulo 11. Thank you for Be sure to check out our other videos in the Basics of Number Theory series. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Check out our blog and visit centerofmath.org. Thank you.